Hey, Steve Noble, Noble Moto. Got my wife's 2012 883 Sports Group here on the lift today. And the other day when she was riding it, the battery light came on. So I put it on the charger. Um, we're going to go through the troubleshooting process of checking to see if your bike's battery voltage, or check to see if your bike's charging system is still good. Now to get to the battery on your fuel-injected sportsters, it's going to be under this teardrop side cover. On the left side of your motorcycle, just pop this right on off of there. And then lift it up, and you should be able to, might have to wiggle it around a little bit. Once you lift it up there, you should be able to slide it out of that little plastic rubber grommet down there. Just like that. <clears throat> now, first thing we're going to check is the battery voltage. So we're going to take our voltmeter and we're going to put it on DC. If it's not labeled AC or DC, there's going to be this little straight line or a squiggly line. The squiggly line is for AC. That's the voltage in your house. You want DC. The straight line one. Now we're going to check since we can't get to the negative side of the terminal, we're going to check to a solid ground and check to the battery. And as you can see, it's reading 12.8 volts. And this thing's been on the trickle charger for two days, so that's good. It means our battery is most likely good. Next, we're going to start the bike up and see how much voltage it's producing while it's running. Okay, while the battery is running, we're going to check the same voltage there. You see, we're sitting at about 12.2. Oops. 12.2, That's kind of low. Give it a little RPM. It doesn't climb up, so therefore that means we are not charging. So, since we don't have a charging voltage going to the battery, uh, we are going to move forward uh, near the oil filter, and we're gonna check the voltage coming out of the charging system. Okay, so right here, this is your oil filter. This is the front frame rail, front wheel for reference. There is a quick connect right here, right below this engine mount, and uh, you'll see two here. This one's your O2 sensor. You can just put that one back down there. And then this big kind of heavy gauge, rubbery looking one, this is the plug coming out of the regulator rectifier. The next stop for these wires is essentially the battery. So we're gonna see if we have voltage here. So this little plastic connector should just push off with your fingers, just like that. Then we're gonna pull it apart, hopefully. Might have to wiggle it a little bit. There we go, came apart. So first thing we're gonna check on the plug that goes to the frame rail here, uh, when we check that, same voltmeter settings, we're sitting at 12.1 volts. Hopefully you can see that. So this is basically the battery voltage we're checking. Um, and it doesn't matter if you get these leads backwards, it'll just read a negative voltage, but your numbers will still be right. So now we're gonna start it up, and while it's idling, we're gonna put the meter leads on each one of these pins, careful not to touch them across. And we're gonna see if we have a voltage coming out of the regulator rectifier. We have no power coming from the regulator rectifier. So we definitely have a component in our charging system that is not working. Now before we condemn the regular rectifier to death, let's move to the other side and check the output of the stator. So now we are over here on the right side of the motorcycle. For reference, this is the front exhaust pipe. It's a little warm. This is your front frame rail. And right here, you're going to find the plug from your stator. Your stator is what actually produces the charging current. So we're gonna pop this, ow, Jesus, that's hot. We're gonna pop this little plug off of there, or the cap off of there. That was really hot, that burned me. And we're gonna pull the plug apart. So the wire here that goes up, that goes to our right rectifier. This comes from our stator. Or right, now with this component, we are gonna set our meter to AC, which is going to be the squiggly line.
in case this helps in any way, I have a different meter here. This is going to look more like the meter you have at your house. You can see we have DC, now we have AC, and we are set to AC on here. Wipe the dust off the screen here, try to get the meter to stay in place. There we go. So now we are going to put the meter leads into the plug here. We'll have to hold them in place. But obviously it doesn't show anything, but we're going to start the bike up, hold the meter leads in place against the plug, and we're going to see if we have any voltage coming out. And remember, AC voltage. It's the only part of the motorcycle you check for AC voltage. That voltage is too low, so we're replacing the stator too. This is an unplugged stator, so it should much read a much higher voltage than that. If the stator was under load or plugged in, this would be the correct voltage. 